Sally. Hi everybody, I'm Alize. And what are we gonna make today? We're making crab cakes. We're making crab cakes, which is super exciting. So we're gonna do the egg first, right? Okay, sure, go ahead. The great thing about these crab cakes is less is more, right? So you wanna taste a crab. So we're only using, in addition to crab, we're using four ingredients. We're using saltine crackers. Oh, this is cracking. Oh, good. Sour cream. Oh, we're doing a yolk. This sauce, how do you say this sauce again? I don't know. Worcestershire or something? We can't pronounce this sauce, but this sauce, and it says French's Worcestershire sauce, so that's a good sign. Ooh. All right, and an egg. So go ahead, Sunny, you're gonna crack that egg in there. Or is it okay if, we, if I break it? Yes, it's okay if you break it. So in a medium bowl, mix egg, sauce, and sour cream. So we're gonna do um, two tablespoons of sour cream. Oh, it's just cracking. Go ahead, put that egg in there. Two tablespoons of sour cream. Here's one. Oh, look at it. Two. Good job. Okay. Break it. And then we're going to do one tablespoon of this sauce over here. Is it okay if we have that on there? What is it? Uh, the shell. Well, try to get that out if you can, and I'll put the this sauce in here real quick, okay? We're going to do one tablespoon of this as well, okay? Here we go. I just want it in my hand. All right, go ahead and get that, and I'm going to get a... I um, get it. Actually, we don't have a spoon to mix this around, so we're going to use our tablespoon to mix it around. Well, we have an eggshell in there. We'll have some extra crunch. Do you see it in there, or did we lose it? We lose it. Okay, go ahead and mix this. Oh, what's that? I'm not sure Sonny knows exactly what a crab cake is. We might have to put a candle in this later, so he's not disappointed. <laughs> go ahead. Mix, mix, mix. There you go. Mom, and how do you make the crab? Well, we're gonna we're gonna throw this um, pound of lump crab meat in there. Okay, so keep mixing that and up. Then we turn on, and then we turn it into crab. There you go. Here, you want me to mix this real good? Yeah. All right. Well, get it fast. Like all right. Super fast. Super fast. So what I'm gonna have you do is open this up and get eight of those crackers in there. All right, go get it. All right. All right bye, guys. I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna crunch it up. Oh gosh, let me do it. All right. Over the bowl though. Over the bowl is right. So one. Pick it up. Two. Crunch it! How do you even do that? Scrunch it up, okay? I'm doing it. I got it. Three. That's kind of a bit of Four. What's inside of the juice? Five. Five. Six. Oh, this is crunchy. Seven. We're gonna have to vacuum later. Yes. Eight, here's the last one. Go ahead, scrunch it up really good. So these are supposed to be crumbled. Okay, so here's one pound of crab meat. So we're gonna mix this in. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and this is um, blue crab, so we're gonna mix it lightly. So basically, the I ingredients- I can stir it up. Yes, it's probably better to do it with your hands, though. You wanna stop and do it with your hands with me? No. Okay, here we go. I can stir it up. So, how about you just squish it? The yes. tiny bit of ingredients means it's just barely holding these crab cakes together. So you're gonna really get the flavor of the crab in there. Hey, you got We're not putting any spices, no peppers, no um, what's that red Old Bay? We don't want to hide the flavor of the crab because we have the best local blue crabs here. So it's really important to to keep that flavor and. Um, one day I was picking up a live feather crab, and you remember we were, you remember that video that we were fishing to try to catch sheep set? And I cut, picked one up, and he got me right there. The blue crab or the fiddler crab? Fiddler crab. It hurt. I cried. Now we're gonna make some crab cake. Let okay. Shake. Go ahead and get a, get a handful of crab. And we're making about a serving for six servings of crab cakes. So I don't know if this is gonna be your whole dinner, it'd probably be two crab cakes, otherwise perfect for six appetizers. So we have our outdoor stove going on. So we are going to saute these crab cakes. Sunny's gonna add a little bit of butter. Perfect. And we're gonna let that get really warm. Oh, want to do that? Can I have that? All right, go ahead. Push that around. 
pretty warm out here today. Yeah, it's pretty warm. I'm sorry, it actually, and yeah, you're on the back of the sun. All right. So we're gonna get that um, nice and hot. So we want a really hot pan. And then we're gonna add our crab cakes and saute them for about two minutes on each side until they're nice and golden brown. And then we're gonna finish them off in the broiler, right? What is, yep. Broiler's the oven. So broiler is when it's like really, 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 really hot from on top. I'm not gonna touch it. No, you can't touch it. All right, so we're waiting until this sizzles up. It's sizzling, so we're gonna put our crab cakes on. Can I put some? No, it's a little bit hot, Sunny Bunny, so we're gonna make sure they're nice and, there we go. How about we, can I please put one on the Nope, last too hot. There we go. Our crab cakes, we're gonna flip them. They're golden brown on one side. Oh! Flip. Oh! And one more flip. Oh! Looks I good. Happy project to you. <laughs> Happy project to you. <gasps> Hope you enjoyed our crab cake video and that you enjoyed the crab cakes even more. Bye. Bye. See you later. I love you guys.